I'm with Tony Gayaldo, and we are at the Standard TV and Appliance Hall Boulevard location, their beautiful showroom. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. I have a question for you. Yes. In these economic times, let's say you have a 10-year-old dishwasher and it's on the fritz. Right. What do you do? Well, that's a good question. Fix it or replace it? Those are your options. It would really depend on a couple factors. First of all, how, how, uh, how, much, how expensive is the repair? repair. And also, uh, how efficient is your old dishwasher? If it's 10 years old, it's not very efficient at all. It's using about three times the, the amount of water. So really? It's, right. So you're, you're really wasting energy. So it's probably time to get a new one. In a way, it pays for itself eventually. Yes. In, in fact, you know, some people think, well, that it would be less expensive just to hand wash them. You know, I'm, budget's tough. I'm not going to do that. If you hand wash your dishes, it takes about 27 gallons versus five gallons on the newest newest products. So over 11 years, that's $465. So it pays for itself. That's amazing, oh, five gallons to wash your whole load of dishes. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Works now, wonderful. That would be one of the Energy Star, one of the most energy efficient dishwashers, yes. correct? Pretty much everything today is very efficient. And uh, you can go to energystar.gov and actually see the differences. There's significant differences between uh, the old dishwashers and the new ones. It's not just a marketing term. Nope, nope. It's uh, significantly different. All right. And that same thing goes for refrigerators. It's very true, yes. Okay, refrigerators, let's... same kind of thing. Some of them qualify for energy efficiency rebates and tax credits and things too. Like a new one like this? Yes. There are similar ones to this that do, yes. Now, this one, it's beautiful. Mm hmm. But you said it may not be perfect for every family. Why well, is that? Absolutely. It, and that really depends on your, on your needs. A lot of folks hear from their neighbors and say, that's what I want. Um, I basically did that myself. I've got five kids, so I got one of these in a house I purchased. And it was just not right for my family because my children were under eight and they couldn't reach what they needed to get in here. So what do active kids do, my kids? They climbed up, they broke the door and got what they <laughs> oh, wanted. Oh no. So not great for small children. Great for adults though. Think of the ergonomics here. You don't have to lean over. You right. normally are getting into the fridge portion a lot more. So it's just very, very convenient. Now that same thing goes for your dishwasher because I noticed you have one over here that's basically half the size. This would be Absolutely. for your full-size family. You have yep. big loads. In fact, this is pretty similar to what I have but at home. this one. Right. It's now, awesome. This one is great. Say there's just two people, empty nesters. Sometimes they have big loads, but the majority of the time it's just two people. So what happens then is they have breakfast dishes. They put them in there. It, it does the dishes, about five gallons, you're done. And you don't have to feel guilty that you've wasted electricity, wasted energy, and didn't waste time either. Okay, so you want to find out what your dishwasher is doing, how it's performing. How would you find out? Well, there's several, several websites you can go on. There's a lot of information now. Um, you can go to, to energystar.gov, and it will pull up a lot of if different information, more information than you probably want to look at. It's so you'd put in the year, the model, that kind yep. of thing, and it would give mm -hmm. you an estimate. Right. There's a guide that I actually looked at uh, recently. That you put your, the year of your refrigerator in, the type that it is, um, the, actually the kilowatts per year that, that is, is you pay in Oregon, and it tells you how much you are saving by getting a new product. So you do a little research and you find out how much you can save, mm -hmm. whether to fix it or replace it. Makes sense. It does. It mm -hmm. really does. All yeah. right. That's energystar.gov. And you can go to that website or you can go to fusionnw.com and you can also have a link there. Thank you so much. You're welcome.